Hey party people, it is Brad Large here. Sorry, I ran out of polos, so I will be in a green shirt today. Uh, anyway, today I wanna to talk about five features in Salesforce Essentials that even if there were no other features other than these five that I think would make Salesforce Essentials an insanely awesome deal. So let's jump in and get started. <laughs> So there are just a ton of features in Salesforce Essentials. I honestly feel like if you started implementing Salesforce Essentials for your side hustle or business that by the time that you were able to use all the features, you'd be making more than enough return on investment to upgrade to a different edition of Salesforce and not even feel it. There are also a lot of other CRMs out there that have a lot of these same features. There are a couple that I think are unique to Salesforce Essentials. Obviously, there are other tools you can use. I just love that they're integrated into one tool that also allows me to put all my customer data in one place. So the first feature that I'll be talking about today is Web Delete. And the reason that I love this one so much is that it allows you to automate getting those leads directly into Salesforce. Cuts out the middleman. You don't have to put the information in later. You can put a form up on your website and those leads can sign up and, and get signed up uh, uh, for an email newsletter as well as just go directly into Salesforce so that you can start tracking them and following up with them. The next feature that I'm going to talk about is Process Builder. Process Builder is a way to automate a lot of the, the processes in Salesforce and it's a very simple setup. You select what you want to automate in Salesforce and there are some simple options to get that set up so that you can take some common business processes that you have and automate out the administrative or mundane tasks associated with that. Um, this is really powerful when you get into following up with clients and making sure that you, you know, aren't letting any of those fall through the cracks. It's a great way to make sure that you're doing that. The next feature we'll be talking about is a sales process customization. The fact that you know, it allows you to take a deep dive on your sales process and then customize Salesforce to match that so that you are giving the customer experience or providing the customer journey that you want to provide. I think that's extremely powerful. Next up is Salesforce Essentials offers, even for its Essentials editions, a Salesforce app, a Salesforce service app, an inbox app. So I have an iPhone, even if you have Android, I believe there's iOS and Android versions of all of those apps. And you can, you know, sync up your email to Salesforce inbox app. You can put in leads and update contacts. <clears throat> update contacts on the go so wherever you're at you have access to this ecosystem of apps on your phone that extend Salesforce to wherever you're at lastly I'm going to talk about Zapier what so Zapier is not a Salesforce product what it is not related to Salesforce what? But Zapier is an API integration tool. And because Salesforce is set up to use Zapier, which disclaimer, a lot of CRMs can interact with Zapier, but Zapier for Salesforce Essentials, the lowest edition, some of the limitations in Salesforce Essentials can easily be overcome by using Zapier to you know, coordinate with other tools. One of the ones that I cover on my channel is actually Zapier and MailChimp and Salesforce Essentials all working together. So I'll talk a little bit about some of the different ways that you can use that. So jumping into Web to Lead. Web to Lead is great. Uh, it's a feature in Salesforce Essentials that lets you go in, generate a form for your website, and it sets up all the information that it needs so that when you, somebody comes to your website and clicks the submit button, they fill out the form on your website, hit submit, and that lead information goes directly into Salesforce. It's super simple to set up. You can select whatever field you want from the lead to generate the form. You can implement reCAPTCHA on it to keep all the bots out. And what I love about it is it cuts out the middleman processing. Like there's no middleman processing of getting somebody filling out your form on your website and getting that information into Salesforce. It makes it super simple to do that. Next up is Process Builder. Process Builder, like I said, is an insanely powerful tool. Some of the really common things that I use Process Builder for is I used it actually at one point to automate marketing messages just using Salesforce Essentials. It's not really like, it's, it, that's kind of like a hacky solution, but it worked pretty well. The other thing that Process Builder can do is once you get specific information from a lead, then it can 
you know, make sure that you're following up appropriately, getting the information you need on those lead, um, you know, for those leads to keep them moving down the sales process. And whether it's automating reminders to remind you to do something or sending out an email when the lead hits a certain point in your sales pipeline, there are all kinds of ways that you can use Process Builder. If you can dream it, you can do it, basically. And that's not even including flows, which are like Process Builder on steroids. So. Process Builder is a great feature that's built into Salesforce Essentials and it takes development like like software development like activities and makes them super simple for business users. And they also offer free training on this on Trailhead so that you can learn all about that and uh, be able to use it confidently. I think one of the most underappreciated aspects of Salesforce Essentials is the fact that you can customize it to your sales process. This sounds so simple, but really a CRM, a customer relationship management tool, is first and foremost there to manage a sales process and your relationship with your clients. So as somebody that's a side hustler or small business, this is extremely important. I wanna make sure that each client I have feels like they're having you know, pers personal interaction with me as they go through my sales pipeline. So understanding my sales process and being able to customize the process in Salesforce to remind me to get the information I need or alert me when I haven't followed up in a while. I think the last great feature about the sales process customization is just that you can define your customer journey and then map that out in your sales process in Salesforce Essentials. So it's almost like a way for you to take your customer journey mapping work and implement it into this tool that's gonna just amplify that process. The fourth feature that I think would make Salesforce Essentials worth it for even if you didn't have any of the other features, the applications that you can get on your phone to extend Salesforce everywhere. So being able to take my phone and have Salesforce in my pocket everywhere I go means that if I meet somebody who's a potential client, I can put them in my phone right then. If I get their business card, I can snap a picture of it and attach it to, you know, put it in Salesforce, go back and create a lead record right then. You know, I can, it, it just allows for so much flexibility. Not to mention that, but they also offer a service app as well. So if you do offer cases, if you want people to be able to open cases with your business or service requests or anything like that, then there's a separate app that manages just dealing with that. So you could get notifications, you could get notified if a client opens a case or has a problem and respond to it immediately. Um, you can also administer your Salesforce uh, org on the go. It's a little bit limited feature set, but there's an app for that. And my favorite app out of all of them is Salesforce Inbox. Salesforce Inbox is a mail app, and it's not as good as uh, Mail or Outlook in my opinion, but it's super powerful because once you have that email integration set up in Salesforce, every email correspondence from you to your contacts to your leads to tied to any record in salesforce is automatically associated with that record in salesforce not only that but it allows you to create tasks so that you can follow up with prospects if something happens on the go that makes you think oh i want to be reminded about that you can do that directly in that app as well one last thing on the apps i've been super happy with them it has made my life a lot easier so number five on the list, I said is gonna be Zapier. And it's kind of a nuanced thing. I'm a technical guy, so understanding APIs and how they work, Salesforce Essentials is part of the Salesforce ecosystem. Salesforce deals with multi-billion, tens of thousands of employee companies regularly. The API support for Salesforce is what allows you know tools like Zapier to integrate so well, and there's so much support for it. So when I say Zapier, if you're technical, then that's the side of it that I'm getting at. If you're not so technical, here's what this means for you. Zapier can integrate with Trello, project management software, your Gmail, it can integrate with um, OneNote, it can integrate with pretty much any tool out there that has an API available for it. And uh, Zapier has tons of support for these zaps, and a zap is just a way to connect two applications. These zaps are super si simple to set up, even with no coding experience or anything. It's literally just clicking one application, clicking another, and defining what you want to happen. And you can set them up in minutes. It's great, but it totally, like it's crazy worth it. I think Zapier right now is like 20 bucks a month. 
So that's a lot cheaper than upgrading to professional edition or one of the other editions and you get a ton more functionality because you can literally interface with pretty much any tool out there with an API. One of the ways that I use this and that I'm the biggest fan of, of this tool for is integrating with MailChimp and getting that marketing automation set up until you're ready to upgrade to some kind of paid system or paid tool. I just think it is a fantastic way to extend all the functionality in Salesforce Essentials. So Zapier got the honorable mention at number five. Having said that, there are a few other pieces that deserve honorable mentions or different you know, ways that Salesforce Essential really rocks. Salesforce has sales in its name. Didn't know if you knew that, but it does. It's Salesforce, it helps you with your sales process. But with Salesforce Essentials, you also get the service side of this. So you get the service console, so that if your customers or clients have any issues, they can go on there and let you know about it. Which can, I mean, it's really easy to set up and it's included with Salesforce Essentials. It's a great, it's another great way that they're adding just even more value to Salesforce Essentials. Next up is the Help Center. So you can actually set up a Help Center on Salesforce that looks incredibly professional. You can put your own branding on it and you can put knowledge articles or facts up about your company so that if potential clients go there, they can actually type in, ask questions. It's indexed, your articles, uh, you can create as many articles. I'm not sure how many articles you can create, but quite a few. And it's, that's also included. So you get basically a free professional looking branded help center to help your clients. So the reporting and dashboard piece is super powerful and you know going over the entire thing is well outside the scope of just this this shout out here but you can really personalize it to make sure that you're following up on the important you know all of the, the most important clients that you have or the most urgent needs that are, are there you can create dashboards that are going to highlight that so the minute that you log into Salesforce you're going to see the most important information right there up in your face it's it's awesome so that's it for today hopefully you enjoyed some of those features and could imagine how those would help you you know create some leverage and some systems in your, your small business or side hustle if you haven't already, check out my video on you know some different considerations for when you're looking at purchasing a CRM. I've got a few good insights in there and I think some different ways to think about purchasing a CRM to make sure you get the best return on investment and the most leverage for your small business or side hustle. I really hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope I provided some value. If I did, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell if you want some notifications. And uh, you, as always, you can check out bradlarge.net as well where I offer more expertise and you can also sign up there for a free 30 minute consultation. If you have any questions about Salesforce Essentials that you'd really like just somebody, you'd really like somebody to just to walk through with you, or if you're having some issues uh, deciding on a CRM for your organization, then hit me up. I'd love to chat with you and uh, potentially work together. So uh, thanks again for hanging out and until next time, peace.